everybody uh, it's uh, Giacomo uh, speaking uh, thanks for watching this uh, updated video on Apple stock uh, as usual in front of us there is one hour candlestick showing the price movement uh, for the last uh, almost almost eight nine months so as we can see uh, the prices uh, the, the stock has been performing very well since we know we know that has been performing in a bullish behavior uh, since the virus came in after one month that we that we knew that the virus was between us the stock just jumped up and since then uh, it has been growing and performing very well so lately uh, with this very simple exponential moving average of 600 uh, we were able to find the supports for this new rally as we are right now with the quick technical analysis interpretation this one can be seen as a new of course as uh, as overall can be seen as a bullish trend even if it has been slowing down a little bit because it took more than six months or one it was one two three four five almost five months to get a new peak higher than the previous one so it has been moving a little bit sideways but always with the no, this upward trend so it was just forming this new rally uh, it took five months and now the prices uh, are going down again because we are in this uh, price retracement stage so this is a major, let's say we can define it as major trend with this bullish trend line so because it's a major is a bullish trend line because it's a bullish trend the idea would be to go long so now if you're gonna see more uh, more more in detail what we can do next based on technical analysis what we can see and say is that if this support level of 118 us dollar will not be broken in the next days meaning that for the cup for uh, as soon as we will we reopen the market next monday uh, we will see the uh, the stock will never go for at least a couple of days in a row below one 118 us dollar the idea would be to go long so it means that this support is working as proper support so it has not be broken or will not be broken but just wait a couple of days in a row that this support level will not be broken downwards uh, so if it will happen in the next two three days the idea will be to go along with the first target price of uh, 139 us dollar if not just hold because the price can keep going down this is mainly based on uh, technical analysis if you have a look to fundamental analysis we got another massive big issue and it is the chip shortage uh, this chip shortage is affecting is impacting on a lot of big companies like emd or chip makers or automakers electric cars all cars uh, and uh, you know, computers makers etc etc all all everything that needs chips or subconductors they are now facing uh, this issue with the uh, shortage uh, there are other companies like uh, toyota uh, that has done a very good stock par of uh, this stock so i think they are not they are not gonna uh, their production will not be affected like toyota there are other big companies that they were aware of that and they started buying those chips or other subconductors before uh, you know starting from last year since the virus came in they they, they bought a lot of chips so these um, or oh, semiconductors so i would like i would invite you to read um, a lot of news about the about uh, this short because it might affect the stock uh, like uh, apples and other companies producing cars uh, chips computers or electrical tools so please uh, read a lot of news about it there are a couple of links underneath this video uh, and in conclusion what we can say is that based on technical analysis the idea is to go long but fundamental analysis due to this chip shortage my suggest to go short in this situation the best option would be just hold because this shortage of sub, uh, sub uh, semiconductors um, can can stay there for at least uh, i don't know for at least next four months or perhaps one year so it's gonna be a very massive problem for all the stocks for all the companies that uh, that uh, need uh, sub semiconductors 
uh, I would if uh, I would invest in Chinese company because they own uh, they got the, the they own the big the biggest company in the world producing chips and uh, you know, producing uh, just like extracting uh, materials from the ground of course from mines so they own they own the the biggest market in semiconductors so I would be more confident uh, to invest in Chinese companies right now. Uh, of course, electric companies rather than U.S. companies due to uh, also the war, the, uh, the economic war that started when Trump was uh, president of the United States. So, uh, based on those information, uh, and again, based on technical analysis that has to go long, but based on, tech, on fundamental analysis, best option would be just to hold for now. Thanks. Bye.